Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to forecast the prices for Avocado using Facebook's profit library. Before we discuss about what is profit, let's take a look at how do we need to install the profit. So you can install profit either using pip or conda. If you are using pip, you can just do pip install fb profit. If you are using conda, you can install it using conda force channel and do conda install conda uh, my dash six conda forge and then facebook Pro fb profit there is a dependency for profit that is pi 10 if it's not already installed in your system you you might need to install pi 10 as well it's p y s t a n also for the plotting purposes we, we will need to install plotly and that can be installed using pip install plotly plotly is used for the plotting purposes for Facebook FB profits uh, default plotting functions. So profit is basically an open source library which is designed for making forecasts for univariate time series data set. Univariate means just one variable. It's easy to use and it was designed to automatically find a good set of hyperparameters for the model in an effort to make skillful forecasts for the data with trends and seasonal structure by default. It was initially developed for the purpose of creating high quality business forecasts. It helps businesses understand and possibly predict the market. Facebook Profit basically tries to address the following difficulties common to many business time series. The first one is seasonal effects caused by human behavior that is weekly, monthly and yearly cycles or dips and peaks on public holidays. The second one is changes in trend due to new products and market events. And the third one is outliers. This model is based on a decomposable additive model where non-linear trends are fit with seasonality and it also takes into account the effects of holidays. Before we head right into coding, let's learn certain terms that are required to understand this. So the two important terms are trend and seasonality. The trend shows the tendency of the data to increase or decrease over a long period of time and it filters out seasonal variations. On the other hand, seasonality is the variations that occur over a short period of time and it is not prominent enough to be called a trend. So to understand the profit model, we can uh, write it in an equation term that is yt, the yt is the predictive uh, value uh, the forecast that we are going to make it's a combination of gt plus st plus ht plus et so here gt refers to the trend that is changes over a long period of time st refers to seasonality that is periodic or short term changes ht refers to the effects of holidays to the forecast and et refers to the unconditional changes that is specific to a business or a person or a circumstance that is that is known as error term so this is the basic idea behind this model that profit model is similar to a generalized additive model it's a, it's an addition of four different terms that is how our forecast is predicted for this uh, using this model this seems easy enough right so why do we need a tool like profit to help us with the forecasting we need it because although the basic decomposable additive model looks simple, the calculation of terms within this is hugely mathematical and if you do not know what you are doing, it may lead to making wrong forecasts which might have severe repercussions in the real world. So that is why we need Profit to, make, to automate this process. Profit provides us with two models. The one is the logistic growth model and the other one is the piecewise linear model. By default, Profit uses piecewise linear model, but it can be changed by specifying the model. Choosing a model is delicate as it is dependent on a variety of factors such as growth rate, business model, etc. And if the data to be forecasted has saturating and non-linear data, that is, it, that is, it grows non-linearly after reaching the saturation point or shows no little to no growth or shrink and only exhibits some seasonal changes then logistic growth model is the best option. Nevertheless, if the data shows linear properties and had a growth or shrink trends in the past, then the piecewise linear model leader is a better choice. 
so this is a brief overview or a brief overview about the profit model and how it works now to build a model it needs input in a specific format in the input the first column must have the name ds while the second column must have the name y ds is the date stamp column and should be as per pandas date time format and y is the numerical column we want to predict or forecast this means we will need to change the column names in the data set and it also requires that the first column be converted to date time objects if they are not already 